And there goes that man's jock <laughs> Oh my God, did you see that? <laughs> America's team? Yeah, right. Oh baby, it's a big day in sports. There's nothing like battling it out with your teammates all season long to go win a championship. Green Bay's got it this year. Huge move for him. I think it's gonna be a game changer. We have a lot to talk about this busy week in the sports world. Welcome to the In a League of Their Own podcast. Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's NHL segment. Uh, things heating up here as we get closer and closer to the All Star um, break here. Uh, my first question, kind of topic here for you uh, Sidney Crosby, one of the all time greats in the NHL, sits just two goals away from eclipsing the 500 mark. Uh, when he does hang it up, as far as overall, talent, goal scoring ability, just skating. Where would you put Sidney Crosby on the all-time list as far as goal scorers? As far as pure goal scoring, um, that's Pure goal scoring, I'd say he's probably 10 to the 20 range, but as far as pure talent and how he plays the game in all facets of the game, I would say he's the greatest hockey player to ever play the game. Um, in the era that is currently the NHL, where everybody can skate and do everything, back when guys like Gordy Howe, Wayne Gretzky um, – some of those guys had 200 points in the season because they could just skate by everyone where now you can't, there's maybe one or two guys in the NHL that can at will skate by some, almost everybody. Um, but yeah, just the goals that he has scored some of the, some of these backhanders, one hand snipes, um, just how creative he is. I just think he's just number one, um, above everyone for how just how he plays. Yeah, he doesn't score all the goals, but you look at as far as like points and stuff like that, he's right up there, um, right up there in points. Like, um, for instance, just comparing Ovechkin, just because I would say he's the best goal scorer of all time. Um, he's got 1,378 points. And Sid has 1,365. Crosby has 1,073 games played. Ovechkin has 1,243. So he's got a couple more points with almost 200 more games played than Sidney. Um, just the guy is unbe- He's just unbelievable. If you ever have the chance to watch the Pittsburgh Penguins, when he's out there, just watch him. That's all you have to do is just watch him and you'll see so many cool, unbelievable things happen, which really goes unnoticed because it's all about scoring goals, winning the Hart Trophy, the Richard, you know, most goals. He doesn't care about none of that. He just wants to win a Stanley Cup. He's won multiple already. He's won everything that there is to win in the sport of hockey and to still be going at the rate that he is is it just incredible because now him and Ovi are the old guys of the league. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, looking at the um, active list, the only guy in between them two is Patrick Marlowe. Cause Crosby sits 46th right now, as far as top goal scorers of all time at 498. So still has a ways to go, but yet four, like four, five, six, years still left of high tier hockey um yeah marlo sits 23rd at 566 and then as you mentioned <clears throat> ovechkin and uh crosby crosby basically being neck and neck as far as um points overall ovechkin obviously still trying to chase gretzky with sitting at 759 right now yeah, as far as, Cro- or as far as Crosby, I agree with you as far as being top to bottom, one of the, or the best talent on ice. Um, and I definitely put him in the top five, like when it's all said and done as far as just 
goal scoring in general. I mean, obviously he sits 46th right now. So it's like, if you hung it up this very moment, he's still way, like way out, but he still has hundreds of games left to play. So he's going to climb this list quickly because all these guys ahead of him are only one to five goals apart from each other. So every, every week he's going to keep passing somebody as his career goes on. Um, and yeah, I mean, top five of all time easily for Sidney Crosby as a, as a hockey player. Yeah. Couldn't agree with you more. He's unbelievable to watch. And there are a few guys, younger guys who have the, the potential to surpass that. Like McDavid, Matthews, Shane Wright, this these Connor Bedard, these kids who aren't even in the NHL yet that are doing things that only the the great ones have done. Um, it's going to be pretty cool to see how this all works out because like hockey keeps getting faster and faster and faster and faster and faster, and now they're talking about potentially allowing fighting in the college hockey. Because how there isn't now, they're yeah, they're talking about allowing it, but you'd get a game suspension, but you'd still be allowed to literally take off the helmets and fucking give her in front of all your student fans, and that'd be pretty cool. But yeah. um, yeah. And then on to my point um, slash question for you: After the embarrassing loss last night by the Avalanche to the Coyotes in a shootout. Wrecking their streak of 18 straight home wins and NHL record. Do you think that they're in trouble now that they are without McKinnon? This is their first game without him. Um, and it doesn't go well. I mean, <clears throat> as concerning as it looks up front, everybody's probably pumping the brakes. You lose it to the Coyotes. And you outshoot them two to one. You, you mentioned they're without McKinnon now. <clears throat> I still think they're fine just because of the ground that they've made up being so far back with all the games they played and moving to the top of the central. And they still have games to make up over Nashville. Um, who's his next closest team, eight points behind them. I mean, the, the amazing streak that they went on, they, I think that they can afford to slip. They can afford to finally have their bad week or so. Um, and with the all-star game right around the corner, might be a good, a good point for them to kind of, all right, that we had this big surge, we're hitting kind of a, a lull point. What can we do to get back to that on the other side of the all-star break? So I'm not worried about Colorado. Again, they were my one of my picks, them, them in Carolina, as far as making it the distance this year to go to the final. And I think I think they're in a fine spot despite being without McKinnon. Um, they have enough other talents on that team uh, to stay in the top of that central. Yeah, I I agree with you. I don't see this as a huge cause cause for concern. I feel like they may lose a handful of games here or there, but like you said for how they've established themselves a nice cushion with games in hand. I feel like they really have nothing to worry about is whenever they get all their pieces back together, they'll go on a deep run. And who knows if they end up do bringing Mark Andre Fleury in and getting another solid goaltender to back up their first goalie could be even better. So we'll see what happens as, as we're getting towards the end of the season here. Um, we have tonight's last batch of games here before uh, the all-star games this weekend, which are always fun to watch. So yeah, I'm going to leave it at that. And I don't even remember who I picked for the, the cup this year. Tampa, I think I picked and. Yeah, I think you had Tampa going for the three P I can't remember who you had out of the West though. Vegas, maybe. Was it Col did we both pick Colorado? I don't remember. I think we may have both picked the abs. Or did I pick the wild? 
No. I don't know. I don't remember. I might have to go back yeah, and, and find out. Go, who... Yeah, I'm sure there's an episode somewhere where preseason hockey, we talked about it. Yeah. Mine was just easy to remember because it's the two C's, Colorado, Carolina, so it's been easy to remember for me. But Yeah. Well, thanks, everyone, for tuning in. This is the end of our NHL segment. Feel free to tune into our NBA and NFL segments for those news there. Um, and yeah, thanks everyone for stopping by kind of retooling the show here as we go. Um, yeah, a lot of cool, cool updates that we're bringing to the show. Stay with us and we'll be back on Friday.